Monday, August 11th, 2008. I'm Joanne, and this is what it looks like after the CERN particle collider has been turned on. All systems go. No earth blow. Smashing protons into each other is no easy business, and while some of you fatalists have been afraid that the world is going to blow up and get sucked into a massive black hole, I haven't worried a bit. Ah! However, this weekend's tests were just part of the lengthy procedure to get the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva cooled down. The first particle beam set to travel the full 17-mile-long roundabout will begin on September 10th, exactly one month from today. I.e. not safe yet. If you'd like some more debriefing, kick it. Looking ahead, and following in the historical tradition of using rugs as a communication and cultural record, this global warming carpet tells the all too familiar story of shrinking ice caps and global warming. Preserved with a synthetic latex which could last for a thousand years, perhaps this rug will tell the tale well after all of us humans have completely biodegraded. A step ahead of the game, the US government is reporting that the army is on track to becoming 30% robotic by 2020. Long distance fighting control from remote locations could finally allow the kids to join in on the fun. That's assuming we don't explode or melt first. Water rat? Mutant military experiment? John Edwards' love child? No noobs, it was just a film prop. And the woman who first reported the sighting just happens to be the director's sister, and an ideal candidate for the bitchybetty.com social network. Yep. Viral marketing. If you were banking on that being real, you got duped. Of course, I'm exempt because it's my show. I can do whatever I want. I will take this paper and read. Free tea for the first person to figure out the origin or matter of the origin of my call to Stella to bring these things with her from the store. Six spoons of fresh snow peas, five thick slabs of blue cheese, and maybe a snack for her brother Bob. We also need a small plastic snake and a big toy frog for the kids. She can scoop these things into three red bags and we'll go meet her Wednesday at the train station. <laughs>